Hello everyone, and Deeper Productions here with another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the LEGO Minecraft set 21137, the LEGO Minecraft Mountain Cave. The set was released back in 2017, it came with 2,863 pieces, 15 minifigures, the one build, and all of that was for $250. If you want to get this set new today, it'll cost you around $1,000, and if you want to get it used, it'll cost you around $600, but it is very hard to come by, so... Let's take a look at the minifigures. So our first minifigure is Steve. So he does come with a nice enchanted pickaxe right here, which is very cool. He does have a nice iron suit of armor, which can be easily removed like so. And if you take off his head, you could easily remove his chest plate as well. But I won't be doing this for the purpose of this video. I also want to say that as these all Minecraft figures go, uh, their printing is a little bit skewed. So unfortunate, but it still looks pretty good. And we also see that he has this nice torso printing, and that's pretty much it for this figure. Taking a look at Alex here, she does have a nice shield as well as a diamond sword, and is fully decked out in diamond armor, and a little spin around there. You can see that she has a nice green torso as well as a uh, Alex head, and she also, same as Steve, can have her armor removed like so. So nice figure to get and I think it introduced the first shield into Lego Minecraft. Moving on to our peaceful mobs we do have a black sheep it does have a nice head print where you can see it's kind of like buying as well as these nice little feet and you could remove this 2x2 two two black piece and replace it by a 2x2 two two tan piece to show that it has been sheared so that is really cool. Next up we have the two exclusive bats of the set. They were originally exclusive, but now they are not because they come in a few other sets. But we do have one with closed wings and one with open wings. And they do have this nice one by one tile for their faces. And they look really good in my opinion. Next up we have the exclusive angry wolf. You can see that it has its angry red eyes as well as its this little mouth there. And it also has a little tail, but no collar to show that it has been not tamed yet. And it is a really nice figure to get Go along with the adult wolf we do have a baby wolf you can see that it has the same red eyes and mouth with a smaller tail and a smaller body but still a great figure to get overall one of the more common mob figures we get in almost every lego minecraft set is the skeleton he does come with his nice bow as well as a nice uh, golden chest plate and the typical Minecraft skeleton look so nothing much to really say about him next up We do have the zombie He is our typical Lego Minecraft zombie But with diamond leggings and a diamond helmet as well as an iron shovel But he does look very cool overall and nothing really much to say about him as well He can't really fit on the screen. So I'll just show him in my hands. This is the Enderman. He is very tall and he has a nice black head which can move around as well as these nice slender arms which can also move up and down we also see that he has this nice leg um, mold which does look very cool and a nice grass dirt block which doesn't come in many sets next up we have the cave spider it has a bunch of little legs which can all move around like so but some of them are on hinges so you can see like that and then it also has this nice headpiece and you can create a spider jockey by putting a skeleton on like that and that just looks very cool and i do believe that the cave spider is only in this set and one other set as well so the most rare minifigure in this set is going to be the electric creeper it did just come out in the new treehouse set so now it is no longer the rarest and that title has been taken by the slime but it is a still cool figure to get and it costs around $80 and it is really difficult to find on the secondhand market it does have this nice transparent head as well as all these little sparks coming off the sides the cool thing is in the house which i'll show you later in the set you can actually make a normal creeper out of the pieces in the set and i just find that really interesting taking a look at our big slime here you can see that it has these nice eyes as well as a nice little mouth it also has these nice trans green pieces on the top as well as on the sides and it is a very nice mob to get in the set it is also very exclusive to the set since it only comes in this one and this whole back part can be taken off and you can dump out the baby slimes to show like once you kill the big one then you, it'll drop two baby slimes and you'll have to kill these guys these guys are not exclusive to the set but are still nice to have so taking a look at the actual mountain cave itself i am going to be starting with the back here just because it'll be a little bit easier of a review for me to make so of course we have this little minecart and a chest on this side and this minecart can be removed and it's a little tight in there but you can definitely get it out and you can see in here that we have a nice bread as well as just some various um, ores like uh, diamonds and lapis as well as this cool golden apple piece. And if we move this aside, this chest can also come out and you can place it back very easily and nice. 
Then we also have this nice diamond block, which you can see right there, as well as these nice posts where you can see these torches. And if you want your Steve to kind of come in here and mine that diamond, if he mines it whenever you're pulling it out, some lava can actually go out and actually go onto the um, minecart rail so that you can't pass. And I think that's a really cool design that the LEGO designers are able to put in there. And you could easily reload that by just putting the diamond block on here and slowly sliding it back in. Now we do have another uh, little section back here with some redstone, the one I'm pointing at currently, that little one off to the side can be removed, but I honestly can't fit my fingers back there. So unfortunately you can't get to it, but it is nice for display. Then you'll also see these, uh, like a little cluster of four back there, and you can take this really cool light brick system that they integrated into the set, put this light brick back here, and you can see them lighting up, which looks really, really cool. And that could easily be removed and put elsewhere. So, moving on to kind of the larger section of the mountain cave, we have this nice emerald ore right here, which is the typical ore texture that we get in LEGO Minecraft sets as well as a continuation of the rail system. So I'll grab the other minecart in the set that's used for players, and that one can easily be moved around in this bottom section like so. We also do have another play feature, which I'll show you shortly. And that play feature I was talking about is there is another light brick area where if you put it through the front of the build, you'd actually light up the lava, which looks really cool. You can see it right there and that could easily be removed and taken back out. So, moving on with the rest of the build, we do have this nice gold ore kind of tucked away in the corner up there, as well as the main entrance to the mine down right there. We also have this nice spider spawner, which is really dark, but of course you do have your cave spider to go along with that, as well as there's a little spider in the corner. You can see its little eyes in there, as well as some various cobwebs put up against the wall. You also have a little turn crank, which I'll show you later in the review where you can actually spin the spider around, which is definitely very cool. Then you have the um, most iconic or awesome play feature of the set, and this is going to be the uh, redstone elevator. So you have all these torches right here, and if you want to take your minecart, and you can easily put a minifigure in it like so, you can have them roll on down right here, come to the top of the build up here to this crank, and you have to turn it, and you'll start to see Steve lift up and he'll go through the floor and all the way up to the top of the set to be pushed down and go down the rest of the way. So that is very cool. One more quick thing I did want to mention is there's two spots to hang bats. This one block where you can hang one upside down and all up here there's some studs showing at the top where you can also hang bats which is really cool. Now that we are outside we can actually have some better lighting. Um, you can use the light brick right here this is one of the spots that you can actually put it in and that actually lights up the redstone area so that's really cool it also lights up something else which i'll show you in a little bit we have some nice little mushrooms on the top as well as a little fern and some wheat growing by the water under there we do have our first play feature right here next to this lapis ore and you can also see this little black lever thing right here and if you push that down, this whole section will blow up and clear your path so that you can take more minecart sections from right here. And you can see if you get more, you can curve it down this way, which is really cool. And this could easily be pushed back in there like so. So that's a really cool feature. Now if we move on to kind of the more bottom area of the set, uh, we do have the second area for the uh, light brick. And you can actually remove this dirt wall. So there's a 2 by six brick up here and then a bunch of two by twos which can break apart and that creates a little dirt wall then in the interior of this we have a crafting table and there a bed and then a torch and the torch can actually light up via the play feature so if you put the light brick in there you can actually see the torch light up and that looks really cool so this is the front entrance of the mine like i said before this is the light brick area for you to insert it into the lava section which is really cool we have some coal ore kind of just scattered throughout the mountain as well as some iron ore up here we also have another one of those large fern plants and this is the little spinning wheel that i talked about the little spider spawner where if you spin it the little spider inside will actually spin which is really cool then of course you have steve which can fit in all of these rails and he can actually go up which i'll show you in a little bit 
but kind of finishing up down here we have this waterfall section right here which looks really good as well as this little extra added sand part which is disconnected by some Technic pins so if you don't want that to be connected because you want it to be flush against the wall you can easily remove that and you have the back half of the elevator as well as some ladders all the way up to the top of the mountain moving on up the rail system we have this nice area up here and this is above the smaller section of the interior of the mine so we do have these nice little steps which lead from the snowy part and you can take your characters down to this kind of area where it's mostly flat but you do have some nice details so you have some mushrooms in these back two corners as well as a nice large fern you have a snow covered tree as well as a non snow covered tree which are both really cool as well then we could also take our nice um, angry wolves and put them in this area because it's like the forest area so you can typically find them here and they would be hunting sheep which you get do get a black sheep in this set like I showed you before but moving on up the rail system so you can have Steve come up here whoops and he can just slowly make his way up to this kind of top level all the way back up where the um, section is where the elevator is so you can have him go back down like so now moving on to this kind of snowy plateau area we do have this nice chest which can be removed and opened it does have some nice pieces in it you can see an axe a little t-bone is at the bottom you can see like the white down there a bone some slime as well as this nice shears piece which are all very nice pieces and really only appear in this set we do also have this nice armor stand which you can actually put armor on which is really cool from alex so you can take off her diamond armor and actually put it on there which is really nice or steve's iron armor now another play feature we have right here is a creeper can actually be walking over on this area and once it explodes you can press down on this white piece and all of those gravel pieces go down into the mine and now we have it all fixed back there is another section where we can actually put our light brick and I'll show you that in a little bit we also have another section where we can put our light brick back there but I'll also show you that in a little bit um, if we grab our black sheep we can put him in here and he looks very nice. We also have a nice jack-o'-lantern and this nice fence gate which can open and close depending on what you want it to be like. And all the way up here we have the start of our waterfall as well as a little sign that says that the minecart should be going this way or it could be going that way depending on how you feel. We also have this nice flower pot and top section where if you wanna once again bring up your minecart, it'll be flush with it so you do have a nice walkway and area to enter before i move on i did want to show one last light brick feature and that is the jack-o'-lantern which does look really cool now back to the back of the build we do have this slot to stick the light brick in for the jack-o'-lantern part we do have another fence gate right here as well as just another little empty hole right here and our final spot to put this light brick is through here and you can see that it lights up the furnace in this little house which does look very cool you do get this um exclusive map piece i want to say as well as a torch creeper head in the back and a little bed now the cool thing about the set like i mentioned earlier with the creeper is you can see that he has a different face print as well as different side pieces but if you actually take this headpiece and these two carpet tiles like this you can actually create a normal creeper, and I don't know if they intended it to be like that, but I do think that is really cool and something worth mentioning. Then we also have a door that does open towards the interior of the house, so it'll swing open and you do have this nice open space so that your characters can get inside like Alex and go to bed. There is one last play feature up here with another exploding TNT piece, and if you flick a lever forward, it'll actually go flying off, which is really cool. Now to talk about how modular the set is, all of these rail pieces can actually be disconnected and moved around, so you have this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, and all of the other ones, except for these ones at the bottom, which are connected fully, but we do have a little bit more of an area up here that will uh, allow for some modularity. And if we move this up, you can see it a little bit better. This whole TNT section can come off like I showed you before. This whole roof section can come off the house like so. And this whole section right here can come off as well as the whole house itself. So you can see that whole top area gets 
broken off and you just get the house itself which is really cool and you could place this anywhere else like if you wanted to have it in the front right here you can and just all kinds of stuff like that so overall i do think that the lego minecraft 21137 the lego minecraft mountain cave is the best lego minecraft set out there it is an amazing set with a lot of different playability features as well as just a bunch of minifigures and a really awesome play experience. I really had a fun time enjoying this set as a child and I still do find it very enjoyable today as I am a little bit older. Now I would recommend getting this set if you can find it for cheaper prices than $500. I do think that it's worth the price, but I don't think that you should be spending $500 because that's more than double the price of what this set originally came for. So it's really unfortunate to see that it goes for over $1,000 now, and it's just stupid rare, but I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know what is your favorite part about this LEGO Minecraft set in the comments down below, and if you would like to get this set. Also, thank you guys for all the support lately on the channel. I really appreciate it. Indie Brick Productions is out. May the brick be with you.